We're going to show the power of Extreme I.O. native snapshots and atomic snapshot consistency. These capabilities can help many applications, especially database test and dev environments. Here, we have a small VMware cluster with a number of idle Oracle database VMs. The prod VM holds the production copy of our test database. The dev and test VMs will hold replicas based on Extreme I.O. snapshots. Here, you see the management GUI for an EMC Extreme I.O. all-flash array. The system we'll be using for today's demo is a 4 expert cluster with about 60 terabytes of usable physical capacity. The cluster is currently idle. Switching to the configuration screen, we can see the volumes and folders associated with the production database. The database has two volumes, a 2 terabyte volume for data and control files, and a 100 gigabyte volume for redo logs. Notice the stacked cylinder icon next to the volumes. It indicates an original volume created by the administrator and populated by an application. We will make crash consistent replicas of the production database using Extreme I.O. snapshot groups. To show the database in action, we will use an OLTP application emulator called SLOB. SLOB is a favorite industry tool for generating I.O. intensive database loads using real Oracle transactions. Let's start up SLOP. We're now applying an intense 70% read, 30% write workload using the standard Oracle 8K block size. After letting SLOP run for a bit, we can return to the Extreme I.O. dashboard view. The cluster is now busy serving about 80,000 I.O.s per second. Switching to the Latency tab, we can see that overall latency is well below a millisecond. Reads are serviced in less than 600 microseconds, and writes are completed in about 300 microseconds. With the production database busy, let's make some test and dev copies using crash-consistent snapshot replicas. We will first save a master replica of the database. This will be our golden image for creating additional replicas. Using the master replica, we'll create three more replicas. Each is saved to its own snapshot folder to simplify management and for subsequent point-in-time replicas. If we expand the folder tree in the GUI, we can see the master and the three replicas in their respective subfolders. Notice the camera icon representing a snapshot volume. The next step is to map the snapshot replicas to an appropriate test and dev host. Snapshots are treated just like regular volumes. We've now created eight snapshot volumes from a busy production database and made them available to the VMware cluster. Going back to the dashboard, we see that latency and IOPS for the production database have stayed the same. The replica volume should now be visible to ESX. We'll trigger a rescan from vCenter to discover those new volumes. Then, we'll attach the crash consistent snapshot volumes to the test and dev VMs as RDM LUNs. Here are the manual steps using one VM. But this will usually be scripted for simplicity and repeatability. We'll use a number of simple scripts to bring up the replica databases. First, we need to make the RDM LUNs accessible to the OS. Next, we'll connect them to the database. Finally, our third script starts the replica databases. Our replica databases are now up and ready to work. We'll start using SLOB to apply the same load to the test and dev VMs as is running in production. Checking vCenter, we see that all four of our database VMs are now about equally busy with SLOB transactions. With all the VMs running, the combined load on the Extreme I.O. array is above 250,000 8KB IOPS. Switching to the Latency tab, we see that latency ticked up only a little and stays well below one millisecond. Notice the big performance dial in the middle. It's about halfway. We should be able to service about double the current load using this Extreme I.O. array. Let's wrap up. In this short demo, we've shown the power of Extreme I.O. native snapshots and snapshot consistency groups. These capabilities are simple to use and enable powerful workflows in dev and test environments. Thank you for watching.